desert is empty of conveniences. The desert is also empty of associations. Like you don't you don't have any nationality. You don't have any uh, identity. You don't have any uh, allegiance when you are living in the desert. Like if you go to any city, you know which city you are in. Yeah. You know which country you are in. But we know which desert we are in. No, the desert. The <laughs> desert is. We are in the eastern desert. The desert. Region. No, <laughs> Buna, no. The desert is just a neutral place. Yes, you're right. You see, yani, which means belong to God. Belong to God, Abuna, because yes. if if there is no signs on the on the rocks, there's no signs on the sand. This is Egyptian sand. You know, there's no sign, so you don't you don't feel the monk doesn't feel it when he's living in the desert. He doesn't feel attached to any part of his identity. Yes. So then his identity is free. Who does he belong to? He belongs only to God. This is a secret of the desert that it's anonymous. It doesn't have tickets written on it. It doesn't have this is an Egyptian monastery. This is a Roman Catholic monastery. This is a Greek Orthodox monastery. Saint Catherine's is not Saint Anthony's. You know, it's obvious where you are. But when you are in the desert, you don't have this identity tag. You know, this, nothing is written for you. So the desert father, he is living in a in a primitive condition physically, yes, but he is living in a neutral personality. He is neutral. He is able to talk to God directly. And also, Buna, if you look to the nature of the um, of the people, when they found that the 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 land is good. Uh like agriculture uh -huh. land or smooth land. They love it and they love to own it. Uh -huh. They love to build exactly. their houses. Exactly. exactly. But when you come to the desert, you will not love it unless you have only one vision. Yeah. You love it because God is there. God is there. You this are not going right. to build. This is right. You are not going to own the desert. Abuna, this is right. Yes, you are not going to, to live with luxury life. Ah. No, all the time it will be broken ah. stones. And you feel yourself not important. When you, when you are, yeah. what you are saying about owning, not only owning, but also to, to have your place remembered. Like your father came from this place and he died and you are living in this place and you will die and your son will take it. There is a continuity in the human life which is linked to the place, to yeah. the city or to the house or to... But in the desert, the monk, he knows that I am here today and gone tomorrow and nothing... Yes. Nothing will be remaining. Nothing will be remaining of me. Yes, sure. So I must live only in the memory of God. Yeah. And this, when I come back to the, to the uh, creation of the global, and then I ask it, why God created the desert in this rough mm. and harsh? Why? I think there is reason. Uh, the reason is, okay, I will give the land to all the people. They can do what they like. Uh, they can grow things, they can build houses, they can own it. Uh, but the desert is for me, uh, for my people. Uh, uh, you know, for my... Because I think he knows that there are some monks are going to jump in the desert, to live in the desert. And they say, okay, this will... Ha I will not allow anybody to live in the desert unless he loves me. Uh, 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 uh. You know, it's really amazing why it's rough place in the in on the earth. Why, why God left it left it like that? Yeah, strange, yeah. Because most people, even those who are forced to live in the desert, like there are some desert cultures, some people in the Middle East in the area, in this basin, who live in the desert. But they don't love it. They want to have gardens. They want to have water. They want to have. They want to have a nice environment. But they happen to be in the desert. But the monk he chooses the desert. Yes. The monk is the only one who chooses to live in the desert. And they have the the two choices. He he can live in a city or in a village, but he chooses the desert. The desert. But the Bedouins they have no choices. Their life is to live only in the. In the and desert. if they can escape, they will. When we choose the desert, yes, which means... Uh... But we choose it for the compensations, Abuna. You know, compensation means that when you, give, when you give up something, you get something, a consideration in return. Yeah. 
So you are compensated. You are given a reward for that. So when you come to the desert, you start to count the things that you are giving up. And this is how people look at the desert. Oh, if I go to live in the desert, I have to give up this and this and this. That's true. But what do you get? Oh. What you get is a you get everything. indescribable uh, 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 amount of spiritual blessings. Mm -hmm. you know, the blessings shower down upon you. The company of God, like it says in the, in the you mentioned the, the Genesis. Yeah? And God walked with Adam in the cool of the evening. Mm -hmm. This is what I feel so much in the desert, that God walks along with me in the, in the way. Because what you said about silence, right? You don't hear anything. Yeah. You don't hear voices, you don't hear people talking, you don't hear life. You don't see life. So, when God comes to visit you, in the empty space, in the desert. He found you only alone. And you are, you are talking about sharing, yeah? You talked about sharing with God, creating a relationship with God. Yeah. This is easy in the desert, Abuna. Yeah, because you have no this, this love relationship of the Father and you have nothing to be busy except to God. Exactly, exactly. But you know, when it's remind me in the Genesis, when God asked Moses to take the people and go to the desert, it's very strange. I mean, to move from, from Egyptian society, living around the Egyptians in that time, with the Egyptians, and take them out of this society to the desert, it was something very difficult. Why? Why God chose for them this area of the global to live in? Uh, uh. Not only this, but to, to let them to, to, to lose uh. in the desert for 40, 40 years. years. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah. This means there is something they much they, they, they should get from, from the desert, desert and God need them to get it from there. I said, okay, I will place you here inside the Sinai. You'll not find your way uh -huh. because I would like to teach you something in the desert and I would like you not to be attractive or busy with anything uh -huh. except me. Uh -huh. Not to build houses, uh -huh. you know, uh, not to live in a certain place or uh -huh. fixed place. No, you have to move just in the desert. Uh -huh. I will feed you, I will give you water, everything. Think of me. Uh -huh. It's strange for God to do this uh, with, the, with His people. But Abuna, what, what greater gift could He give them? He has to teach them. The monks, when the monks come to the desert, this, this uh, test which God gave to the Israelites, this test of knowing Him, knowing Him in the desert, meeting Him in the desert. In the desert, yes. This test of knowing Him, of meeting Him, this is the monk's life. He wants yes. this. Okay, maybe the Israelites some of them said, let us go back to Egypt to have melons and... Uh, but Moses knew that he meet God in the desert. And the monks know that they can meet God in the desert. They must. Must. Yes, yeah, they must meet God in ah. the desert. This is why they left their ah. families and houses and they came out to the desert. Abuna, you, will not, you will not meet God even in the monastery in the same way that you meet him in the desert. For sure. This is a quality of, of reciprocal, like it's a almost a mathematical qu quality. When you take away on one side, you have to add on the other side. When you take away all of the things that we have listed as belonging to normal social human life, and you, you, you have, they're all missing, what you add on the other side of the li list? all the spiritual things which God gives you, like to depend on Him. Yeah. Completely. Completely depend, depend on, on him. God. Yes, completely depend on Him. Not just, not just that. We talk about through prayer. Through prayer to God, you, 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 you come close to Him in love, yes. But in the desert, you depend on Him. You, you put yourself in His hands. You, you have no other company. And all the time it's for him. For him. All the energy. So this makes a it, yeah. energy. This makes an energy, Abuna. Yeah. This makes an energy, a spiritual energy, which you don't find. You can find qualities in the monastery and qualities in the world which are good. They are from God. But they are not the same as this intense fire in the desert, which is God's fire. 
Yeah, because when you are living in a desert, you are concentrated completely ah. in one life. Ah. Only one way. Ah. When you are living in a monastery or in, in, in the society, there is different way ah. of living. But in the desert, it's only one, one track. 